What is going on everybody and welcome back to a new segment on my channel that I've been having a blast with called Nate's Favorites and you guessed it this segment is me choosing some of my favorite movies and giving myself an excuse to just talk about them for a lengthy period of time and you know I review a ton of movies on this channel I do a lot of new releases I do the A24 archive I recently started the Neon Spotlight so I'm visiting both of those production companies, entire filmographies. I do the Criterion Corner where I talk about films in the Criterion Collection. And it's so much fun to kind of jump all over the place. But every now and again, I just really get an inkling to revisit a movie that I love and adore. And this is a movie that if you have been following me on YouTube or TikTok for a while now, I mention quite frequently in a lot of lists because I feel like this is one of the most underrated films in the past like 10 years. This is from director Lynn Ramsey, who is one of my personal favorite directors of all time. I feel like Lynn's catalog is flawless. She's only made four movies and she has one that's in production right now. But I feel like every one of Lynn's films, there's so much attention to detail in what she gets out of the actors and in the cinematography and in what the film is trying to convey. And I just love that about Lynn's work. And this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite film in her entire catalog. And it's a very dark and disturbing movie, but it's also incredibly thoughtful. And I re and rewatching it this time, I've seen it multiple times already, but it just grew my love for the film even more more and the movie I'm going to be discussing with you today is You Were Never Really Here. You Were Never Really Here is directed by Lynn Ramsey. A traumatized veteran unafraid of violence tracks down missing girls for a living. When a job spins out of control his nightmares overtake him as a conspiracy is uncovered leading to what may be his death trip or his awakening. So as I said I love this movie. It is absolutely incredible and I feel like what makes this movie so special Special is the way that Lynn Ramsey is able to talk about all of these incredibly sensitive, disturbing, unsettling, uncomfortable subject matter and do it in a way that showcases so much empathy and compassion and understanding towards mental health issues and towards grappling with PTSD and depression and suicidal ideation in a way that it's, it's so palpable that you feel it throughout every frame. And she does it through a very unconventional narrative style that's never overly expositionary. It's very much just this character living through this set of circumstances, us getting little bits of insight into his psyche as the movie plays on. And I think that there's just something so brilliant about that. And I'm really excited to talk about it with you as a whole as I break the movie down. So at the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Joe, played by Joaquin Phoenix. And he is in Cincinnati. Ohio carrying out this job where he is rescuing this girl from a trafficking operation and he is so brutal at his job he doesn't bring a gun he uses a hammer and it is violent and it is disturbing and it is uncomfortable but he gets that girl out of the situation goes to a payphone calls back home to New York and says the job's done. He gets on a plane, flies back home, and goes home to his mother. And his mother is getting older. Um, she's struggling on her own a little bit, getting up and down the stairs. And it's very clear from early on, he absolutely loves his mother. And he takes care of her and he's there for her. And we get flashbacks to his childhood where his father was seemingly very abusive and awful towards him. And we also get flashbacks to when he was in the military and he has seen some things when he was in the military especially involving dead children and he this weighs on his conscience a lot and we see him in situations put like plastic bags over his head it seems like he does not want to be alive but because of his mother and because of the work he is doing something is holding him to this world he doesn't want to move on yet and so his boss ends up getting a hold of him and telling him there's a very specific job that he needs to carry out and involving I believe believe it's a senator in the area whose daughter has been kidnapped and put in this child trafficking ring and says he's going to pay like 50 or $60,000 to us. We're going to be able to take some time off and not have to do this for a while. 
while. And Joe's character is just kind of like, I don't really care. Like, I do this just to keep me going, but whatever, I'll do it. It's a job. So he meets with the guy. The senator is incredibly distraught. He's like, please, can you bring my daughter back home? And so the entirety of the film is Joe's character rescuing this senator's daughter and finding out that something much larger is occurring surrounding this young girl. And everything that Joe has to go through after rescuing this girl and what the situation does to his overall psyche and well-being. So as I said, I think this movie is nothing short of remarkable. And the first thing I have to talk about is Joaquin Phoenix's performance. I have made this very apparent uh, on my YouTube multiple times, but Joaquin Phoenix is my favorite actor. I think that he is absolutely incredible. And despite being heartbroken that he won his Academy Award for Joker, which I think is one of his weakest films, uh, he constantly gives incredible performances and this is one of my favorite performances that he's given in his entire career i feel like what he is able to do through his facial expressions and just little mannerisms throughout this movie showcases everything you need to know about the the state psychologically of his character lynn ramsey does a brilliant job of incorporating small sequences to give you little hints into his past and the things that he has experienced but he does such an amazing job through his facial expressions and delivering it to an even more emotionally palpable level and there's not a ton of dialogue in this movie it's a very quiet and reserved film with incredibly violent action in between and i think that because of his performance it makes it so very special and everyone involved in this movie does a really great job but i feel like without joaquin this movie wouldn't be the same as far as the way this is shot i love the editing in this movie the way that the flashback scenes are incorporated about his life and his childhood and the things that he has experienced they're done in a way that are that it's very chaotic and it's very jarring and it feels like a rapid memory that you're having that you would rather not experience and i think that having that jarring editing and that uncomfortable way that those sequences are incorporated really does a fantastic job of putting you in joe's character's head and lynn does a fantastic job through the movie switching up the way that the movie is shot there are static camera sequences there are moments where it's more handheld and i think that it's all up from the perspective of our character so that it can ground you in some sort of reality as to what this person is experiencing but there's also some really creative sequences. It's interesting because there is a lot of violence in the movie, but the violence isn't always showcased to you firsthand. And some people complain about that. And uh, there are moments like one of the sequences, all the violence is showcased through a distant security cam footage. But what I think so fascinating about that is there's no question whatsoever to the fact that what Joaquin Phoenix's character is doing is incredibly violent and it's disturbing. And it's not a job I feel like a whole lot of people would be able to do well. But what I think is so much more important is the physical and emotional and mental pain that he is experiencing, which is so much more of what the movie is focusing on. It's focusing on the after effects of him doing these jobs. What kind of toll it takes on his body, what kind of toll it takes on his mental health. And while the violence inc incorporated in that moment is important to giving us context as to who his character is, I think there's so much more about living in the after effects of that and what he's already experienced through his trauma in the military and his trauma as a child. And I love the way that it's shot. I think there's a really brilliant idea here that Lynn is giving to all of us. And she's just such a talented filmmaker. I love the music in this film. It is composed by Johnny Greenwood, who it is no surprise to anyone, one of my favorite modern day films composers phantom thread has one of my favorite scores of all time spencer there are so many movies that johnny greenwood has composed that i just think are absolutely
absolutely brilliant. And this movie is no exception. It's one of his most unique scores to a film. I love everything about the music in this movie. It creates such a unique atmosphere. And obviously, as I said, the subject matter of this film is very, very disturbing. He's hunting down child traffickers. And once this young girl is introduced, seeing what she has experienced firsthand and her just cut, like we see her character trying to to like create things in her mind to distract herself from the terror that she is experiencing and Joaquin Phoenix's character doing everything he can to save her from this situation it's just heartbreaking and it's sad to think that these things really happen in our world and that they actually occur and I think the way Lynn incorporates it in the story um really speaks volumes to the situation overall and it's just a movie that will linger with you long after it's over there's a scene at the very end of the movie that is one of the most memorable sequences I can think of to a film in a very 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 long time and I am so grateful that Lynn is making movies I think this movie is remarkable and if you've never seen it before it's been streaming for free on Prime Video for forever I own a physical copy of it it's worth paying for it's worth watching for free on Prime Video just do yourself a favor and check out this remarkable piece of film so have you seen you were never really here did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was incredible I love it so much I revisit it like once a year because of how much I adore it. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.